of course, let me pick, uh, pick it up from the angle of Golden State Warriors. You talk about Golden State Warriors, but they are actually victorious again. This same thing, talking it, uh, talking about the Portland Trail Blazers. Trail Blazers. Uh, they were victorious just uh, uh, two nights ago. So, of course, it's not that bad for them. But going to the game proper between uh, uh, Los Angeles Clippers and Portland Trail Blazers, uh, we expect a lot of points in this game. Mm. These are two teams that know how to score points. They know that, uh, and whenever they will come up against each other, you expect them to have uh, over, well over 200 and 210 points in this game. Uh, for LA Clippers, they will be missing Paul George, one of the best players in the NBA this season. is actually injured. Of course, he may uh, make a late recovery to feature in this game. Uh, for uh, uh, Portland Trail Blazers, they will be missing Gazol and Collins, uh, with two of their uh, best three-point throwers in this, uh, in this season. So it looks a bit dice for them, especially when they are not good travelers. Uh, for LA Clippers, they have played five games at home this season. They've won four, lost one. And that one was just their last reverse at home when they went down by 124 to 129 against the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, for uh, Portland Trail Blazers, they, were, they lost their last away game to uh, when they went down by 127 points to Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. They actually scored 118 points on their own. So it goes to show that uh, these are two teams that know how to score points, score. whether they are winning or whether they are losing. But then, playing at home, at the home of our LA Clippers, who actually started this season in brilliant form, but then in recent times, they've not been getting the results. Of course, they've played eight games, they won five, lost three. Uh, for uh, Portland Trail Blazers, they've played eight games also, they won three, lost five. So it goes to show that uh, uh, they, they have not yet hit uh, the ground running right. uh, for themselves. But then for this game, we expect them to lose against uh, uh, LA Clippers, who actually have the ambition of winning, uh, uh, they, they are more, more like qualifying for the playoffs at the end of the NBA regular season. And it's, uh, essentially, we expect uh, over 210 points in this mm -hmm. game. All right, uh, you've heard it all from expert Aziz. Are looking at the selections for a straight victory for the Los Angeles Clippers. It goes at 1.32 odds, and for over 210 points to be scored, it goes at 1.74 odds. All right, there, meaning that uh, more than 210 points or 210 points or more will be scored in uh, this one. And for straight victory, that's it on your screen. Los Angeles Clippers winning that one, 1.32 odds. And uh, interesting analysis right there from the experts. And uh, as, as we go, I still want to ask the guys um, for Perry. Um, looking at the EPL table, which of these teams do you think will finish in the top four? We have, we talk about the big, the, the top six teams, but looking at the top four, which of them do you think who finish in the top four, or rather from number three position to number six. Let's put it Okay, that we know the first like two. We are saying the first yeah. two are guaranteed. Yeah, we know it seems <laughs> the first two, Liverpool, Man City. Yeah, mm. but I think uh, Chelsea so far this season have been pulling a lot of surprises in terms of how they win and how they score goals. We yeah. don't expect much from them. Earlier, uh, this. Uh, I think about two months ago, I mentioned on this program that Chelsea are going to face a tough challenge in mm -hmm. the EPL. But so far, they are all, they are really they are really doing yes. doing well. They are mm -hmm. doing wonderfully well in terms of how they keep up with winning their games. I think Chelsea would not would be among the top four in that uh, uh, in the EPL, and mm -hmm. also Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur is way off. How about you? You're not even considering Leicester City. No, I would know. I wanted to mention Leicester City. Oh, okay. So Man City, Man U, and uh, Man U is not even. Is not, I don't think Man U. Yeah, think <laughs> no chance for Arsenal. Yeah, as is no chance Leicester for Arsenal. Um, um, until Everton. Arsenal solved. Uh, Everton is. Uh, they don't have that uh, required quality to compete mm -hmm. at this level. We're talking about the top six in English football. Uh, Arsenal, of course, they have the required quality per se. But then uh, they, they are captaincy issues uh, with the fans as well as you know Emery not knowing his uh, first 11 as well as then not uh, being able to keep leads. Uh, when you look at bigger sides, when they are leading, even if it's just a goal up, they tend to manage the situation but Arsenal, even when there are two goals ahead, they tend to give the opponent a chance to come back into the game and even possibly lose. So with that, I don't expect them to, to uh, be in the tough at the end of the season. Look at Leicester City, they are the second top scorers in the Premier League and they have the best defence in the Premier League. So you know, these are factors and Brendan Rodgers have got this side playing the, the, the right way by scoring goals and denying the opponent mm -hmm. uh, ways of scoring goals. So I expect Liverpool, Manchester City in that order, Leicester City as well as Chelsea uh, to place fourth at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, interesting right there. No chance for Arsenal, no chance for Tottenham, no chance for Manchester United. But hey, uh, anything can happen. If you ask me to make my prediction on who will finish top four, I just might break the table uh, and we might start fighting here on the show. But then that's the size of our package today. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you guys for coming as always. Always a pleasure. Thank you for Looking forward us. to us having hitting 100 on this one.
well as well as Liverpool beating Manchester City. Mm, wow, that's true. Liverpool beating Manchester, and there's also a big one in Germany, yeah, Borussia Dortmund against and, uh, Bayern, Bayern Munich. Bayern. Wow, interesting one right there. But we're looking forward to a great weekend of sporting activities and especially football. We will enjoy the very best of uh, the EPL, the Spanish La Liga, the French Ligon, the Italia Serie A, and of course uh, the German Bundesliga. But then I wrap up with my special quote for the week to take you through the weekend. The quickest way to acquire self-confidence is to do exactly what you are afraid to do. So go out there. If you are afraid of putting money on these games, come on, put your money on it. And I guarantee you, Bet and Shield will never help you lose. They will help you win so much money in your pocket. I'm Udo Kanjoko. Keep it locked down to Plus TV Africa and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.